Bestbookbits.com brings you 5-Minute Books. Today we're going through The 4-Hour Workweek by Tim Ferriss. Whenever you find yourself on the side of the majority, it's time to pause and reflect. The new rich, time and mobility. People don't want to be millionaires. They want to experience what they believe only millions can buy. How do your decisions change if retirement isn't an option? What if you could use a mini retirement to sample your deferred life plan reward before working 40 years for it? Is it really necessary to work like a slave to live like a millionaire? The goal is fun and profit. The perfect job is one that takes the least time. Now this summary is sponsored by Best Book Bits Consulting. If you've ever thought about starting a podcast, creating a YouTube channel, or even writing a book and need help getting started or getting finished, come work with me. I consult content creators in all stages. Book a short consulting call with me using the link below in the description. Reality is negotiable. An expert is a person who has made all the mistakes that can be made in a very narrow field. Money is multiplied in practical value, depending on the number of W's you control in your life, what you do, when you do it, where you do it, and with whom you do it with. Options, the ability to choose, is real power. Focus on being productive instead of busy. It is far more lucrative and fun to leverage your strengths instead of attempting to fix all the clinks in your armor. What we fear doing most is usually what we most need to do. A person's success in life usually can be measured by the number of uncomfortable conversations he or she is willing to have. What are you waiting for? Doing the unrealistic is easier than doing the realistic. There is less competition for bigger goals. Adult onset ADD, adventure deficit disorder. One does not accumulate but eliminate. It is not daily increase but daily decrease. Doing something unimportant well does not make it important. Requiring a lot of time does not make a task important. 80% of the outputs results from 20% of the inputs. Most things make no difference. Being busy is a form of laziness. Lack of time is actually a lack of priorities. A task will swell in perceived importance and complexity in relation to the time allotted for its completion. Identify the few critical tasks that contribute most to income and schedule them with very short and clear deadlines. Identify positive friends versus time-consuming friends. Poisonous people do not deserve your time. You are the average of the five people you associate with most. If you prioritize properly, there is no need to multitask. Learning to ignore things is one of the great oaths to inner peace. Do your own thinking independently. Be the chess players, not the chess piece. Create systems to limit your availability via email and phone and deflect inappropriate contact. Batch activities to limit setup cost and provide more time for dreamline milestones. A man is rich in proportion to the number of things he can afford to let alone. This is how email is meant to be. It's mail, not a chat service. To create an automated vehicle for generating cash without consuming time. Cash flow and time. These two currencies, all other things are possible. Without them, nothing is possible. It's far better for a man to go wrong in freedom than to go right in chains. By working faithfully 8 hours a day, you may eventually get to be the boss and work 12 hours a day. It's too big a world to spend most of a life in a cubicle. If you must play, decide on three things at the start. The rules of the game, the stakes, and the quitting time. Would you like me to give you the formula for success? Double your rate of failure. It takes two or three months just to unplug from obsolete routines and become aware of just how much we distract ourselves with constant motion. Outdated comparisons using the more is better and money as success mindset that got us into the trouble to begin with. If you don't make mistakes, you're not working on hard enough problems, and that's a big mistake. Recognize that the only rules and limits are those we set for ourselves. Once you realize that you can turn off the noise and without the world ending, you'll be liberated in a way that few people ever know. Develop the habit of letting small bad things happen. Stop trying to impress people you don't like. Not-to-do lists are often more effective than those to-do lists for upgrading performance. Expect small problems. 
Living the four-hour work week. Number one, start small, think big. Number two, identify what excites you versus what bores you. Three, eliminate and focus on what excites you. And four, stick to what excites you, no matter what people say. And last, it's your life. Live it the way you know it is right for you. That's a wrap on this summary. If you want the long extended version, click the link below to download this. Remember, this summary is sponsored by Best Book Bits Consulting. If you've ever thought about starting a podcast, creating a YouTube channel, or even writing a book and need help getting started or getting finished, come work with me. I consult content creators in all stages. Book a short consulting call with me using the link below in the description. Thanks for watching and listening. Have yourself an amazing day and go out there and stop living the 40-hour work week and start living the 4-hour work week. Bye-bye now.